iCarly and That's So Raven were definitely two iconic shows. Both series had an episode about room makeovers, so I thought it would be interesting to compare the episodes. I'll be calculating a total score, one based on the plot, and the second based on the actual room design, to see which was the best. Hook Up My Space was the room makeover episode of That's So Raven. It aired in 2006 in the last season of the show, so funny enough, Raven didn't have this room for long. The episode begins with Raven complaining about her not having enough space in her room. She then has a vision of Corey asking their dad to turn the basement to a place for his band to rehearse. Raven rushes down and beats Corey to their dad, and he agrees to let her move into the basement. Corey realizes that Raven used her psychic ability to know he was planning on asking for the basement space and is upset. The next thing we see Raven being surprised with a camera crew for a show called Hook Up My Space, where a family member gets to control your room makeover. And can you guess which family member is going to be in charge of the makeover of Raven's room? <laughs> Knowing that she did Corey wrong, Raven tries to butter him up so he can decorate her room the way she wants, but that fails. According to the rules of the show, she can't be in the house for the makeover, but she comes in anyways, disguised as a worker, and tries to stop the plans Corey has for her room. Eventually, Raven is exposed and she has a heart-to-heart -heart with Corey, deciding to give him the room to him and his band. Later on, Corey calls everyone down to the basement and it is revealed that he actually did decide to give Raven the room of her dreams. Also, there was a side plot on Mr. Baxter and Eddie working out. Then there was the iCarly episode. The episode I Got a Hot Room aired in 2010 as a special for the fourth season premiere. The episode begins with filming the web show. They talk about how Carly's birthday is coming up and Spencer brings out a huge birthday pie that is flavored Gibby and Cherry. Spencer asks nonchalant about Carly's birthday until they reveal a grand birthday breakfast surprise. Spencer wants to make up for an incident last year at a petting zoo by giving Carly the best birthday. Spencer makes Carly a gummy bear lamp, but it causes a terrible fire in Carly's room. A very terrible fire. An expensive watch was lost in the fire, so they get a reimbursement check of $82,000. Spencer tells Tebow to give Carly a job so that they can make over the room. Carly leaves for a job and they basically get into the magnificent makeover that is revealed at the end of the episode. Also, side plot about Gibby's grandfather giving Spencer a haircut. So, to get to scoring, first I'll compare and see which episode was better, and then I'll compare to see which room was better. For the episodes, I will be comparing on three sections. First will be humor, second overall story, and third side plot. So firstly, humor. In the That's So Raven episode, Chelsea and Raven dressing up as construction workers brought a lot of humor into the episode, and Chelsea, very true to character, doing a lot of ditzy things were rather funny. But then there is the iCarly episode. Between Spencer and Sam, this episode was truly laugh out loud funny. I want to tell you all how sincerely grateful I am. Whoa, whoa, text message from Carly, she's on her way up. Everybody get out of my house! So I would say, iCarly definitely wins in the humor category. Then there is Storyline, which I also have to give to the iCarly episode. I really enjoyed the Hook Up My Space concept. I'm assuming it was a spoof of Extreme Home Makeover or Trading Spaces, and the host definitely reminded me of Ty Pennington, but the iCarly episode was just great. It's Carly's birthday, the room fire, Carly getting a job with Tebow, and then the reveal. This one is a little harder, but I would have to go with the iCarly episode. Lastly, there's the side plot. In Raven's episode, it's about Eddie and Mr. Baxter working out. It was cool, but nothing too special. But our Carly has Gibby's grandpa, and any relative of Gibby, you know things are probably going to get interesting. The whole scene where Gibby's grandpa is asking for plum juice. Can I have a glass of plum juice? Got any plum juice? Nobody has plum juice. <laughs> and the fact that he is practically blind, but is supposed to cut Spencer's hair is pretty entertaining. So the third and final star also goes to I Carly. The nostalgia of the early 2000s makes me want to give the Raven episode a higher rank, but the iCarly episode was pretty great. So good, it was actually nominated for a daytime Emmys. Next, let's get into the rankings of the actual rooms. For this portion, I will just be giving stars for anything I think is cool in the respective rooms. So first, let's get into Raven's room. The first star for her room would be for the colors. This room had a lot of bright colors, which was pretty cool, especially for the time. Raven had a purple, green, and pink chair, plus orange accents. There was bright green on the stairwells and blue and orange on her walls. The second star is for the patterns. There were unique patterns throughout the room that really paired well with the bright colors. The next star is for the bed. Raven had a swinging canopy bed, which was very cool, although I questioned the practicality of it. The last star, star number four, is for the nook for her fashion designs. So that brings Raven to a total of four stars. Now let's get to Carly's room. 
where should I start? One star for the water coffee table, one star for the ice cream sandwich love seat, one star for the trampoline into the bed, a star for the gummy bear chandelier, another star for the cupcake side table, an additional star for the closet, another star for the hair dryer, another star for the bench by her bed, and the last and final star for the upholstered panels throughout the room. So that brings the total stars for Carly's room to nine. So there you have it. The iCarly episode wins in both being the better episode and having the best room. Like I said, both of them were great. I just thought this would be a fun video idea. Which episode in the room was your favorite? Leave a comment down below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.